What's up beautiful people out there? This is again Ashish from Ashish Equation. Welcome back. So guys, in this video, we are going to create a neon kind of, you know, neon lights photo manipulation in Photoshop. So first of all, here is the photo which I'm going to edit, right? So you can just click some kind of pose in such a way that you are, you know, seeing in any of the direction or you can click any of your photo right now let's select or crop the photo for our instagram let's select the 8 is to 10 ratio that is our instagram ratio right now i just want up to here right so this one pretty one portion i just want it right so i'm gonna just crop it just like this way all right make sure that the subject should be in the middle so here is in the middle portion right all right now let's add the background to the photograph first of all if you haven't selected the photo you can just select it with the help of quick selection tool just right click there just like this one just right click on and select layer copy option to make a duplication of the selection which you have made it now just go to the file click on open and we can just browse the background so this is the background which i'm gonna using it for my editing process right now just drag it and drop over here so i'm gonna just place this somewhere over here let me just increase the size by pressing ctrl t all right so this one is seems to be kind of cool i guess right yes this one is literally looking so perfect very cinematic vibe it is giving to the photo right guys now here we're gonna just fix the you know the basic correction to the photo so just press ctrl l from the keyboard and just move the slider from left to right until you get a perfect the data is up to here starts from here the data of this image so we will just move it up to here right and you can see the different here was a before and here is after a huge difference can be seen right press ctrl u from the keyboard and we can just re reduce the saturation of the magenta tone and let's select the blue color just reduce the saturation to all the way up to zero also just select the cyan color and we're gonna just reduce the saturation all right so the next thing we're gonna do is here we will select the blue color and as you can see it is giving kind of bluish tone on my hair also so just make it to minus zero right and here we're gonna just select the magenta color and just make a magenta just a bit of satu or uh, decrease the saturation of the uh, of that color just a bit and you can see the difference guys here was the before and here is the after right now just hit okay all right so we will fix that everything later on now here we're gonna just go to the selective color click on this clipping mask so it will only affect whatever you are doing in this it will only attack art uh, affect the beneath the model layer Select the black color and here we can just add a more blackness to the photo. Adjust a bit would be pretty perfect. Plus 8 and just you can see the difference. And now just merge both the layers. Alright. Finally the next thing we are gonna do is start adding a lights to the photo. So what we're gonna do is select the light line tool from here. And just make a line over here right. So we can just make the line the color of the white color right now just make a line make the pixel of the line to around bigger to around this much will be pretty perfect just make a one line over here just a straight line just make a straight line from middle to upward just press the shift key from the keyboard so it may just create a perfect white line right so as you can see this one has created a black kind of line now i'll just right click on it and rasterize it with the layer all right now press the uh, control key and create a new layer select the white color and just fill it with the white color right as you can see i have filled it with the white color now i'm gonna just increase the size by pressing the control t button and just increase a bit so this one is seems to be perfect i guess still more it is needed all right so this one is looking kind of cool but still let's just make control t just a decrease a bit and just hit enter all right so this one seems to be perfect i guess right now just right click on it and go to the blending options and here 
uh, make outer glow and we will make outer glow to around the red tone increase the saturate opacity and we can just increase the size and just spread it a bit and just hit ok all right so this one is literally looking so perfect neon kind of look again press ctrl d and we can just reduce a bit and again just double click on this effect and we will also create an inner glow so make sure to select the red color over here and just make a little bit of inner glow also all right so let's just darken it let's make it normal let's make it lighten up all right now just hit ok finally as you can see we have created one perfect neon light right now press ctrl t from the keyboard and we're gonna just first of all press the ctrl j from the keyboard and make a duplication press ctrl d and we're gonna just place this somewhere over here all right and now again just press ctrl j from the keyboard and press ctrl d and we can just place this somewhere over in this direction all right now now the next thing we're gonna do is again press ctrl j from the keyboard and we're gonna just place this on top of all the layers press ctrl t and we're gonna just place this somewhere over here all right so this one is look, looking kind of very cool and creative right again just press ctrl t from uh, ctrl j and make a duplication of this image and we can just place this somewhere over this portion wow guys this one is literally looking so perfect and amazing right and you can still make if you want to make or let's just press ctrl j from the keyboard on top of all the layers right now just right click on it and just rasterize the layer all right we have rasterized it press ctrl t and we can just place this over here all right and make sure go to the filter select the blur and we're gonna select the gaussian blur and we're gonna just make a Gaussian blur of this image or this light and just hit OK. Uh, we're gonna still reduce some of the blur. So let's just select the Gaussian blur and make the pixels to around 38 or 40 would be pretty perfect, I guess. all right so let me take 225 so let's just make a pixels to 25 and just hit ok uh, so let's just press ctrl t from the keyboard and we can just increase the size and we can just place this somewhere over here now just press ctrl uh, let's create a new layer create a clipping mask on it select the brush tool make sure you have selected the white color and just fill it with the white color just to give one stroke of that just a bit all right so this one is looking kind of amazing now just merge both the layers now here guys go to the subject layer and here we're gonna fix the skin tone skin tone right so press ctrl u from the keyboard and click on the hand icon and we can just make it to kind of perfect gold this effect you can just increase a bit of saturation if you want and just hit ok right so this one is seems to be perfect gold effect all right let's select the background and here still more haze so we can just fix this all right so as you can see we have fixed the background also so let's here was the, our first background layer right, right so we can just press ctrl t and now here it is so let's just press ctrl t from the keyboard and we're gonna just flip it and we're gonna just place this somewhere over here 
all right so this one seems to be very very amazing now let's again just go to the filter select the blur and let's select the box blur first of all let's just right click on it rasterize the layer go to the filter select the blur and let's select the box blur and let's see how does this actually looks first of all it is the size of this it should be decreased so what we're gonna do is press ctrl T and we can just reduce it just like this and also we're gonna just double click on this effect layer and here we're gonna outer glow should be decreased a bit opacity and just hit ok all right now just press ctrl t flip it horizontal way before flipping we're gonna just go to the filter select the blur and select the box blur all right and just make a box blur to around 25 percent go to the filter select the blur and again add a gaussian blur to the photo all right just keep it as it is i guess all right press ctrl t from t comp t from the keyboard and just flip it horizontal way and here we're gonna just reduce the opacity all right so this one is literally looking so amazing now again just duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl j and we can just place this somewhere over in this portion this seems to be very perfect and amazing right wow guys this one is looking so amazing all right so the next thing we're gonna do is the dodge uh, color grading process which is a very important part of this editing all right so what we're gonna do is first of all now we'll just go to the background layer select the crop image and just crop the background finally go to the filter select the blur gallery and here we can select the tilt shift option and we're gonna just place this somewhere over here all right and let's just decrease a bit and we're gonna add a blur on this background just like this all right so this one it seems to be very creative and more realistic touch it is giving to the photo so as you can see this one is making your photo very very cool and amazing right now it is very important to add a glow on this subject also so we can just create a new layer create a clipping mask select the brush tool make sure you have selected the perfect red tone over here all right now just paint or add a glimpse of this colors on this model layers on the edges right just like this way so this will create an amazing look now just change the blending mode to screen or let's just add overlay right overlay is very perfect so as you can see this one is making an amazing look to the photo all right so you can still more add some more colors over here overlay all right so this is seems to be very very perfect and amazing now let's again we're gonna select the eraser tool and here it is actually overdone so we can just remove it with a bit so select the opacity to little bit decrease to around 74 percent and here we have done the decrease all right so this one is looking so perfect and amazing right again let's just select the brush tool make the opacity to around 60 to 70 percent 
we can just paint on this edges or let's just create some kind of you know colors over here all right so this one is looking so perfect so finally it's the time to merge all the layers so just right click on it and select merge layers all right select the crop tool and hit once again the crop and finally the color grading process actually starts go to the filter select the camera filter all right and here we're gonna do the process of color grading first so finally guys this muted green preset is literally making so cool effects so just hit ok all right and here we are done so finally here we have done our editing process of creating an amazing photo manipulation just like you know neon portrait so here is the before and here is the after so i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just smash the like button so that it will motivate me to make more videos and cool creative videos like this for you guys for free and if you haven't subscribed yet then do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of our videos and presets also visit our website that is www.ashfieldcreations.com and filterpreset.com also guys don't forget to follow me on instagram as well as just type ashfield creation so guys thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial guys till then guys be creative and be awesome